So accelerating the pace in which we can do science is, is, is super important. Another big feature of being able to make molecules and doing it in an automatic mode is that we actually digitize many features of the synthesis. And what that's meant to us is that we can actually now bring in machine learning strategies that help us uh, improve our overall processes. And, and in many ways, we can actually predict the synthesis virtually, what's gonna be the reaction yield before we even make the molecules. That's what these machines have really ultimately enabled. Understanding the digital world, capturing all the information, building machine learning models, printing proteins, printing oligonucleotides, printing peptides, and then ultimately allowing the researcher to make um, educated hypotheses about what types of molecules should be made, how should they be designed, and then getting them in a matter of minutes and being able to go do those downstream biological investigations. So that's really the automation and the fast flow synthesis technologies that we've built over the years. But we've also thought through this other challenge that we all face, which is how do we discover new biologically active peptides and proteins? And so in doing this, we've built these discovery platforms that are based on affinity selection mass spectrometry. And um, over the years, we've been able to ultimately bring in millions of compounds and ask the question, what ones actually have that function that we desire? And what's really neat is we can make these millions of compounds rapidly. We can test them and ask questions if they actually do, any of them do what we want. The way we figure out the ones that actually in fact do what we want them to do is using mass spectrometry. And we've worked through a lot of the techniques to use that ultimately to decode and understand what the molecules are doing. And we really leveraged this platform in the middle of the coronavirus pandemic. Actually, we were some of the first groups to discover peptides that were able to either bind to the ACE2 receptor, which is necessary for coronavirus entry into cells, and simultaneously, in a matter of days, we discovered some of the first peptides that bind to the spike protein of coronavirus, really teaching us that we are, in fact, building a rapid response platform, something that can look at uh, a protein or some biology of interest and rapidly identify new ligands new binders that could eventually be used either for assays or potential starting points for drugs.